So this is a high yield immunology slash derm slash path question for step one. If you're studying for step two, you should at least know this for uh, IM, uh, internal medicine as well. So uh, why don't we hop into the fucking question here where we have a 33-year-old woman. She has erythematous non-pruritic lesions on her legs, on her shins, and she's also uh, she has a dry cough for the past two months. Okay. STEM tells you she has type 1 diabetes mellitus. You say, hmm, not sure how that relates. It's the STEM communicating to you that autoimmune diseases go together. When you get a USMLE STEM that mentions a seemingly disconnected or haphazard uh, autoimmune disease, they could have said RA, IBD, uh, pernicious anemia. Like It doesn't matter. When you have autoimmune diseases uh, that are mentioned in a STEM, you should be thinking, uh, oh, okay, this patient has sarcoidosis, okay? She has propensity for autoimmune disease, which is the case. This is sarcoidosis with erythema nodosum, all right? So the question is asking for the immunologic mechanism that's most similar. Now, erythema nodosum is actually not a rash, technically. It's a paniculitis, a sophisticated term for inflammation of subcutaneous fat, okay? P-A-N-N-I-C-U-L-I-T-I-S, paniculitis, inflammation of subcutaneous fat. It's due to immune complex deposition, which makes it a type 3 hypersensitivity. So uh, looking at these answer choices, which one is most similar, okay? So why don't we just walk through here? Choice A, anaphylaxis, wrong fucking answer, because that's a type 1 hypersensitivity where you're going to have, let's say, B antigen or uh, peanut antigen will bind to the fab region of IgE on the surface of mast cells and basophils. The Ig uh, come into proximity with one another. They cross-link mast cell, basophils. Uh, they will degranulate, release histamine, okay? And then you get your low blood pressure, swelling, etc. That's anaphylaxis, type 1 hypersensitivity. It's not the answer here. Choice B, Arthas reaction is correct, which is a type 3 hypersensitivity. So Arthas reaction is an injection site reaction you can get with, uh, for example, the corona vaccine, Moderna arm, as it's colloquially referred to, and also injection of, let's say, uh, uh, ceftriaxone. That's an IM uh, antibiotic that can be administered. So the thing about injection site reactions that are Arthas reaction is that they are notably delayed about three to seven days. If you get an inj if you have an injection, let's say of a sulfa drug, I'm just giving some arbitrary example. If you have an injection of a sulfa drug and you immediately get a rash, that would be type one, okay? Type one uh, hypersensitivity. If you have a three to five, three to five, seven days later, you get a reaction, that would be Arthas reaction, okay? It's immune complex deposition. Serum sickness would be arthritis three to seven days after uh, administration of a drug. It need not be an injection. Uh, serum sickness can also be uh, due to infections such as Hep B, Hep C, rubella, okay, reactive arthritis, chlamydia. A lot we can talk about, but uh, before I move forward, just know Arthas reaction and uh, serum sickness are type 3 hypersensitivities. Choice C, contact dermatitis, wrong answer. This is type 4 hypersensitivity, okay? Nickel from, let's say, the uh, the backs of watches. It can be poison ivy, poison oak, which will present as linear vesicles on the skin in someone who's been in the woods or gardening. Uh, it can be sunscreen. That's high yield, especially in 2CK, difficult vignettes. And PPD reaction uh, for uh, TB testing. So those are type 4 hypersensitivities, T cell response, okay? And also known as delayed because it will take a few days to show up, a few days to go away. Pernicious anemia, wrong answer. That's type 2 hypersensitivity. That's uh, antibodies against your parietal cells uh, or intrinsic factor resulting in megaloblastic anemia, hypersegmented neutrophils, so due to B12 deficiency. So um, there's a lot we can talk about. Okay, Graves' disease or as another high yield type 2 hypersensitivity, uh, heparin-induced thrombocytopenia. So there's many uh, tangents we could go on here, but the point is US simile might show you an image. They might show you also the malar rash and lupus, and they want you to know it's a type 3 sensitivity. And the answer could just be Arthas reaction, or the answer could be serum sickness or erythema nodosum, as we did in this question. So I'm not going to make this a 46-minute clip. Uh, you know the deal. I'm going to continue making more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. Appreciate your time. That's it.